Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a properties of logarithms problem. In particular, I want to look at the question if r is equal to the cube root of a squared times b divided by c, then log r can be represented by. Now before we simplify and look for log r, let's go ahead and focus on what are we going to need to solve this problem. We're going to need three log properties, which I prove in an alternate video. We have that the log of x times y is equal to log x plus log y. We have log of x divided by y is equal to log x minus log y. And finally, we have log of x raised to the y power. This would equal y times log x. And finally, we look at the basic definition of a rational exponent. When we have a raised to the b over c, this is equal to the c root of a to the b power. In some sense, this c in the denominator goes in front of the radical sign, and the b in the numerator is what a is getting raised to. So now that we have this information, let's go ahead and get started with this problem. So we're looking at, what did they give us? They gave us that r is equal to the cube root of a squared b divided by c, and they want us to find log r. So let's go ahead and take the log of both sides. And now notice on the left-hand side, we have log of r. But on the right-hand side, we need to simplify. We need to expand this using the various log properties. So let's go ahead and rewrite log of the cube root of. Instead of cube root, let's go ahead and put it in rational exponent form. So we're looking at, instead of log of the cube root, we're looking at log a squared b over c raised to the one-third. Keeping in mind that this entire expression here, in some sense, is being raised to the first power because anything raised to the first power is just equal to itself. So this 3 outside of the radical sign is going into the denominator and this 1 is going into the numerator. I'll go ahead and close this out like this. So now we're going to use this property of logs. When we have an exponent inside of a log, we could go ahead and bring it in front. So now we have that this is equal to, remember this is all log r, log r. We have that log r is equal to one-third of log a squared b over c. But now we have two operations going on inside of this log. We have multiplication and we have division. So let's go ahead and first we'll break up the division going on in this log. So now we have log r equals one-third and now using the division property we could go ahead and separate this into two logs by subtraction. So we have log of a squared b minus log of c. And now keep in mind this is going to close off the brackets. It's important to, when we're evaluating this log here, to make sure that we keep this one-third isolated because this entire expression here is equal to this, uh, the difference of these two terms. So now we need to keep simplifying. Log c is already simplified, but we need to break apart log of a squared b. And when we have multiplication, remember it's going to be, we could separate it with addition. So now we have that log r is equal to one-third, and we have log of a squared plus log of b. This is how log a squared b expanded. And now we still have that minus log of c. But now what do we need to do? We're almost done. What we need to do is we need to use this exponent property to simplify log of a squared. So now we have that log r is equal to one-third, keeping in mind that the exponent comes outside of the log and goes in front. So now we have that this is 2 log a plus log b minus log c. And now finally the last step will be to distribute this one-third. Now that everything is expanded inside of the log expressions, we could go ahead and distribute the one-third. So we have a one-third times 2 log a. This is going to be equal to two-thirds log a. Now we have one-third plus log b. I'm sorry, we have one-third times a positive log b. 
which is equal to a positive one-third log B. And now finally, we have a one-third times a minus log C, so we have minus one-third, we'll go ahead and take this away now, minus one-third log C. And keep in mind this was all equal to log R, so this is equal to log R. And this expression here is going to be our final answer to the problem r equals the cube root of a squared b over c. If this is true, then what is log r? So, okay, well this is going to conclude this problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope it was helpful.